Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 22nd to the 28th of June 2020 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you well, Taurus. So I'm pulling an overarching message for you. This is the Tarot Grand Lux. To see what we have for the week. Wow, we have the King of Wands. Card of Leo for me as a reader or a fire sign. Can be a fire sign in your life, Taurus. Um, but this can also be your energy. So we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's get the rest of the cards on the table. What do we have for Taurus, please, for the week? Oh, thank you. Wow. Big energy here of taking action. And I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. Okay, and angels, what is the message for our lovely Torians, please? 22nd to the 28th of June, 2020. What do we have for that week? So we have power of angels. May your angels protect you, guide you, and keep you safe. There's the feeling of protection here. You're being watched over. Beautiful energy. Intuitive energy as well. Okay, let's pull some cards. So, first card, I pull four cards. First card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll get clarifiers to go deeper into the message. It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. This is the Tarot of Dreams, and I'm going to clarify with a legacy tarot today. All by Marchetti. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus, please? Thank you. First card. We have the Five of Coins. Very poignant card for you, actually, Taurus, because it's a Taurian energy. Okay. So your challenge, we have the Ten of Swords. Two of Cups is advice from Spirit here. And your outcome, the world. Okay. Let's pull clarifiers. So can we clarify the cards on the table, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Taurus, 22nd to the 28th of June, 2020. Starting with the Five of Coins, please. Wow, you know, this is your card, Taurus, the Hierophant, the Faith card. Powerful protection here, you know. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords as your challenge. We've got the Emperor. It's a gorgeous energy, the Emperor. And I think this is tying into the energy of what this King of Wands is as well. So we have the Two of Cups here, clarified by the Knight of Coins. This card is coming out a lot at the moment for a number of signs. And the World is clarified by the Two of Coins. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Okay, Taurus, so I'm going to pull one more clarifier because let's just pull one more clarifier for this card for the King of Wands. I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams to pull this clarifier. Let's pull one more for the King of Wands, please. Angel Spirits Guides, please clarify the King of Wands. We have the star, card of Aquarius. Okay. So I feel this is you, Taurus. I mean, some of you, obviously, male or female energy could be involved with a, with a <clears throat> fire sign or a Leo. But, you know, I'm kind of feeling for some of you, this is your energy. Because the King of Wands is somebody who sits in their power. They take action. They go for what they want. 
and there's a big message of now is the time to take action. The boundaries that this card refers to, I feel, is it can be your own limitations or whatever's stopping you from moving forward. You see, this person is almost jumping over a kind of divisive energy, like a barrier almost. I certainly feel for some of you, it, you see it says, I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. This is expansion growth and it is taking action towards that, being in your power, take the lead. The king of wands can represent a leader or taking the lead in your life now, being your power. He is also the opportunist, somebody who goes for what they want, take decisive action, they don't think twice. And when you're in your power, the sky is the limit. Sometimes he's pictured with a blue background, the, the sky, the sky, um, the picture of the sky, I should say. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm already beginning to feel the Mercury retrograde here, Taurus, so you'll have to bear it with me. Um, and I feel this take action towards your hopes, your dreams, because the star is new hope, new found hope, a positive oh, uplifting, energetic energy is what the, the King of Wands is. And I certainly feel it's towards this. This is about dare to dream. This is about thinking bigger. This is about finding direction and purpose in your life as well. Now the star is also blessings from the universe. You are absolutely being guided here. It's just a powerful, beautiful connection to source, you know, to spirit, to angels, guides. Uh, it's almost kind of like you're being shown the path forward on where you need to take action towards. Lovely, lovely energy, the star energy. It's a sense of renewal, of new hope, new dream, new vision here as well. And there's a liberation with the star as well. So it's a big message now is the time to take action because you are being protected. And I feel that quite strongly in these cards, you are being protected. So we have your Taurian energy here with the five of pentacles and then you're appearing here, Taurus. So there's a big message here. This person is out in the cold they are so consumed by negativity whatever the negativity stands for they don't see this church that they could go in and seek shelter from the cold so they remain feeling lack and there's a feeling of when you allow the energy of lack to really consume you that's the energy that you put out to the universe and that's what you'll get back is more lack this is lack breeds lack this is about seeing the bigger picture the need to step back and get perspective here as, as difficult as it is because you're being guided on this journey you are the hierophant you are the hierophant is the earthly representation of god the universe the divine so even in your darkest times here the window here is saying you are being watched over you are being guided here don't lose faith it can be spiritual faith or for those of you um it, that don't have spiritual faith, it could be faith in you, in your abilities now, to bring positive change to a situation by taking action, by being in your power, by focusing on a new vision, a new direction, a new dream, a new hope, and taking action towards it. You might have had some financial difficulty here, Taurus. This is about having faith in you, your ability to bring a new level of stability, security to your life. And again, you are being guided. So where there's been instability, it's like you have the power, the guidance to bring that stability back. And I certainly feel for some of you, it is to, it could be to do, the pentacles energy is to do with our conscious reality. So the five in tarot can be instability. This can talk about our foundational relationships where you might have been destabilized in a relationship, something that you thought was solid. This can also talk about your money, your career. Again, something that you thought was solid, you're solid, you're feeling lack in terms of money career front. You kind of get what I'm saying, Taurus. So whatever this is, there is a need to see the bigger picture when the fives come out because they are very, very consuming and difficult to see through. 
or see past. I'm going to pull one more card on this Emperor before I go any further. Let's pull a card on the Emperor and the Knight of Coins. Can we clarify the Emperor please for Taurus? Angel Spirits guys, 22nd to the 28th of June 2020. Let's clarify the Emperor in the challenge position. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Okay, and the Knight of Coins. Two of Coins again. So, We have the Ten of Swords, which can be about being deeply hurt by someone's actions or words towards you. You might not have seen this coming, but the turns are an ending. You know, this is quite a dark energy. There's levels to this card. I mean, it never looks good on any kind of deck. But this is about a new day, a new dawn is rising in the distance, and it's time to allow endings to end. It's time to obviously let go of the pain, whatever has you've been get, coming to terms with, I feel. Um, yeah, again, it's not an easy energy, Taurus. You know, this is your challenge position. You might have been deeply hurt in terms of whatever this instability has been, you know, because it's next to the card here. Now, again, the Emperor, even more powerful card than the, the King of Wands, so a card of Aries, the Emperor is somebody who rules all, who is an empire builder. By being in their power, he is in absolute control of his power and therefore he shapes his life and his world. The world doesn't shape him. So he takes control of situations. He brings order from chaos. If your life feels a little bit on, cha on the chaotic side, he's a symbol of now is the time to bring order, chaos. Uh, sorry, now is the time to bring order um, into your life from the chaos here because, yeah, he can represent certainly an opportunity here to bring a new level of expansion and opportunity into your life by taking action, by being in your power. And it's just that take the initiative. Now is the time to take the initiative. He is the empire builder. And I feel for some of you, it's like this is saying it's difficult to get back on your feet even though the energies are like take action it's time it's time um, it's a really empowering energy if it's time to go you're being guided it's time to take action yeah because for some of you your fortune is changing or has the ability to change when you take the initiative when you make uh, take decisive action here when you're in your power when you take control of your life yeah the Wheel of Fortune is a Jupiterian energy of expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune. It's a beautiful energy if things are really going to can open up for you now. It's very good in terms of money and career, but also just positive opportunity in all fronts coming into your life. But for some of you, you need to take action, take control of your life now. So, beautiful, beautiful energy. And this is again divine timing. So we have your card, which again can be about your being guided. This is about that. Also this as well, you know. Um, I just feel as well with this card, the Ten of Swords, you know, the sun is rising. Sometimes you see the clouds breaking, the sun is beginning to rise here. There's a new day, a new dawn coming. Again, the sun is divine energy, pushing away the darkness, giving you clarity on how to move forward. So, beautiful energy here. Now, Taurus, for some of you, Spirit is saying that there could be some opportunity. Now, the Two of Cups can be in love. It is to do with our emotions. It can also be something that brings you joy. 
um, you know, it's not limited. I mean, it can be in terms of love, but it's not limited to that. The cup's energy is to do with our emotions, our feelings, uh, our intuitive energy. It is, you know, something that brings us uh, that uplifting happiness, joy. So the two of cups can be new love. It can be to do with, like I said, an offer or an invitation as well. And for some of you, the Knight of Coins is saying someone is making you that offer. Could be a Virgo, because this is the card of Virgo. So I certainly feel for some of you, what this represents, and again, is to do with this Wheel of Fortune, the good, expansion, growth, wants to come into your life. But it's almost kind of like, you just need to embrace the new, you know, the Wheel of Fortune can be endings and beginnings in some way. It's that transmutable energy of taking action. You know, draw a line under what's gone and move forward. And, yeah, I do feel for some of you that with that Two of Coins, it's almost kind of like you're on the fence. This is kind of like a, a will I, won't I energy of... I can't make a decision or choice, or, or choice here. I don't know which way to go. It's kind of like this offer, this opportunity that's coming into you is throwing you off guard in some way, Taurus. And yeah, it might take you a little bit by surprise here, I'm feeling, but this is an honest offer. Whatever this represents, and like I said, it could be money career, something that brings you joy can also be in love. Spirit is saying that there is some positive, trustworthy, honest offer, opportunity here that is being offered to you. Don't let what's gone on here stop you from moving forward. Because again, this is the Jupiterian energy of expansion, growth in Capricorn. So don't allow what has gone on in the past to keep you stuck in the past. This is about opening up to the expansive energy of Jupiter. Allow good things to come into your life because it's appearing twice here. So yeah, I just feel for some of you, there is an opportunity to win through here, to cross the finishing line, to step into the next phase of your life here. You know, this is a card of accomplishment, success, celebration, uh, achievement, you know? And I feel for some of you that this Two of Pentacles, this this feeling of, of indecision, of almost kind of like will I, won't I energy, something maybe catching you off guard, is gonna ho is is holding you back from really bringing positive growth into your life. And it's to do with whatever this Ten of Swords, this Five of Pentacles is all about. So the world is, you're ready to step into the new phase of your life. You might not feel it, again, Two of Pentacles, but you are ready. You are absolutely ready. So the Wounded Warrior here, the Nine of Wands, is saying, don't hold back. Don't stand guard over the past journey. It is about moving forward. It's not about the journey that's gone. It's about the journey that's ahead here. And that's why the King of Wands is saying, now is the time to take action. He can also be somebody offering you an opportunity as well. Could be to do with this Knight of Coins here. It might well be there is something coming your way in terms of an opportunity. A person maybe. It could be to do with a person or it can be to do with an actual opportunity that is allowing you to, to move forward to a new vision, a new direction, fulfill a new hope. Don't hold yourself back in what's gone yeah you might have to work through this you know Taurus I feel there's an element of okay I'm gonna have to work through it and I'm feeling that quite strongly with the Knight of Coins because for me as a reader this can also be about healing and um, getting back on track in some way it's a Virgo energy but the Knights can be making offers so for some of you I definitely feel that quite strongly um, and you know the Virgo energy is that hard work energy yeah you might have to still be working through some of these issues but don't let it stop you from the accomplishment the success that's coming your way 
you know, don't hold back, you know? Okay, I'm going to pull one more card to see what's next, Taurus. <laughs> okay. Let's just pull one more card. One more card for Taurus, please, Angel Spirits Guides. On what's next? One more card on what's next. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords, card of Libra. She can be very much, I mean, that sword energy is don't allow your emotions, your feelings to stop you from making the decisions, seeing the direction that you need to go now. This is all about balance as well. Finding balance in your internal world, something that you've been struggling to do. Again, two, the two of pentacles can be a card of, of imbalance as well. You know, struggling, even with money. I mean, this can be in terms of money, struggling to get back on track, struggling to, um, it can be too with finances, struggling from relationships. I mean, you kind of get what I'm saying. She is, balance is needed because this is available to you, the world. So from this, you need to ground yourself and find balance in your internal space in order to really move forward with full clarity and take action to a new vision, a new dream, a new direction now. Yeah. And I feel there are barriers, especially internal barriers here, Taurus, holding you back. Okay. What do we have as a final message for Taurus, please? It won't be for everybody, but as I said, take what resonates with you. Okay, we've got, it keeps on happening to me this. I keep on getting a number of cards, but you know, let's go with it. <laughs> we have Koi Carp, Abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. You know, this is about positivity, it brings its own reward. Like I said, the Five of Pentacles, you put out lack, however difficult it is, you know, when you approach something in a positive way, the universe rewards you positively. So it is about doing that shadow work. We have the Fox. There are no shadows without light, yeah. Again, protection, you are being protected here. So positive, Panther protection consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely we have flamingo unity heart you are being called to work on collective healing i mean there may well be some healing that's involved here um certainly with that ten of swords golden unicorn ascension i love this awaken to your soul's potential this is about stepping into your light now and finally again yeah <laughs> <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth Taurus so I'm glad we're on the same page we have the bear you are the light it is safe to step fully into your light and I think that's what you're being guided to do here you know while you're while this is lack breeds lack it is stopping you from being who you are Somebody who has the power to bring stability, security, success on every level into their life. So lovely energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.